It's Tom Goslowski from 104.5. The team is on next. Talk about the return of Tommy Canely to New York. On the next, two broke girls. Caroline's sexy text. I sent the pilot a boo pic. Whoa, girl, you nasty. Reveals too much of her selfie. You didn't put your face in it, did you? Girl. Oh, that is no way to talk to your new boss. Bite me, Crystal. Call me mom. Why? Don't you The greatest game summer sale is here. For one week only, save 40% on daily admission. Just $35.99 each. This special deal is online only at sickflags.com. But hurry, summer sale ends July 23rd. force nature valley something special is only happening here college tuition is now free at new york state public colleges for full-time students from middle-class families so now more people can afford an education with this investment in our future workforce we're opening doors of opportunity for students and businesses. Only in New York State. Learn more at esd.ny.gov. Get the best deal of summer on the biggest thrills. Great escape tickets are on sale. Only $35.99 each. A savings of 40%. So what are you waiting for? Summer sale ends July 23rd. Only at sixflags.com. Welcome back, everybody. Earlier in the show, we told you about the trade that is bringing Tommy Kane Lee back to New York from Chicago. But to break it down even further, we're bringing in the expert, Tom Gazlowski of ESPN Radio 104.5, the team. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, as always. So when you saw the story break, what were your initial, initial re -jerk rea knee jerk reactions? I was so excited because we had a capital okay, region guy coming exactly. back to New York. Now, Kane Lee originally with the Yankee well system said, back yeah. in 2010. Then he, he comes said, back, and it made sense for the Yankees said, to kind of for some, came out of the blue Second. because it's Kaylee and Frazier yeah, and Robertson. There was talk of other teams, whether it's the Oakland A's or Atlanta Braves, but this trade fit everything. You get somebody in Frazier who can play first and third. You get some help in the bullpen from Kaylee, who should have been an all-star. And you got a guy like Robertson, who's been with the Yankees before. You got to lose a prospect, but this is a good trade for both teams, and I think especially short-term for the Yankees. Yeah, what about the haul that the Yankees had to give up? You ship out Tyler Clipper, who's been kind of hit or miss this year. Lots of misses, maybe. Oh, but uh, what do you think about the the haul that the Yankees had to give up? Was it too much, or do you like what they did? I think it's about as good as they could have asked for, because now you still have the idea. Yeah, Rutherford's a good player, and he's moving on to Chicago now, but would he have been able to burst through the outfield with guys like Frazier and Judge and who knows a free agent down the line may be joining the team maybe he wouldn't have been able to ever find it in the Yankees organization and it was better there in Chicago and they didn't give up too many prospects that they can't make a move later on maybe they want to bring in a starting pitcher maybe they want to bring in another bat they still have that lineup that farm system is so deep with talent even if you lose one and losing one of those guys doesn't change the Yankees they still have a top five farm system in baseball there's a lot ah. being said about what they are going to do in the bullpen right now, how they're going to use the staff and the arms that they have. You have a number of closers and you have a number of setup men. If it was up to you, how would you be using these guys out of the pen? Ooh, that's a tough question. I think Joe Girardi's going to struggle over every single game, depending on lineups, how many lefties, how many righties. And sometimes, how good does your starting pitcher look? It's something we talked about today on the show. It's that if a guy can go six innings, whether it be a CC Sabatha, uh, or Masahiro Tanaka. If those guys can go five or six, then you just gotta work through the lineups. I'm not trying to dodge your question, but I think it's an every game situation. Joe Girardi's gonna have a tough decision on his hand with that many good pitchers coming out of the bullpen. Sounds like it's gonna be a good problem to have those, sure. have those arms. Uh, last question about the Yankees. Are they, are they done? Are they gonna make any more moves? Or is this the team that we're gonna see carry them through the fall? They have the pieces to do it, but it comes down to 
do they feel like they don't want to overpay for somebody? Mm -hmm. The Cleveland Indians may want to make a move. That's the team that lost in Game 7 of the World Series. They feel like they should be contender in the American League. Houston's going through a lot of injuries. They may be making a move. The Boston Red Sox were rumored to be getting Todd Frazier and Tommy Canley, so maybe they're still in the mix. It's going to come down to if the Yankees get outbid for players. They're going to be active. They're going to be calling people, but maybe the price is just going to be driven too high where they can't be in it. They're going to try their best to make a move, but they may be enough at the end. Sure. Well, this is something we don't typically get the chance to talk about during the summer months, which is basketball. I know you're a huge basketball fan, and we have a meaningful tournament to talk about. Very exciting. Of course, I'm talking about the basketball tournament, TBT. We had a number of local connections, but they're kind of dropping like flies right now. Uh, the Super 16 begins later this week. It's like tomorrow, Bayheim's Army taking the court. Does Bayheim's Army have what it takes to win the whole thing to take home that $2 million prize? They definitely do. They have a lot of former NBA players on the team, whether it be a guy like Dante Green or CJ Fair, whether it be the Big East legends like Aaron De Eric Diefendorf or the bad boys of college basketball. They have a lot of good players. A lot of times these are players who kind of have been pieced together from different areas, whether it be Peoria or other cities. These guys have either played together or played in a similar college offense and defense like Jim Beheim. So with all that talent on that team, the backing of Beheim's Army Syracuse basketball fans will root for anything orange any month of the season. I think they're probably going to be the favorite for this tournament going forward. Wow, well, the favorite. Now, this tournament has well, obviously no, been no. throughout the last couple of years. It started a little bit smaller. It's up to $2 million, the uh, prize, the share of the prize. What do you think about this tournament? Do you like it? Is it missing something? The good, the, the bad? What do you think about the tournament? I think it's only going to get more popular. I've heard the ratings have been fantastic for the tournament. The college basketball fans who are just waiting for their teams in college to get back are all into it. It's almost like a video game comes to life because some of these guys are older or younger than the current teammates that they have. And it's almost going back and saying, what if these guys all played on one team? What if these guys did game against these guys? You get that to really happen. In this a really cool field. That much money on the line, too. One and done style. Well, back here locally, one of the biggest events of the year is going to be starting on Friday. Of course, I'm talking about Saratoga, the spa opening. I can't wait to be there. I know you're going to be there. What is your plan and ESPN Radio's plan for opening day at the track? Every Friday throughout the entire summer, we'll be broadcasting two to six, two to seven, depending on how long the Yankees go. We'll be set up there, having a good time, interviewing people, and hopefully, hopefully winning some money on the horses. I can't promise. <laughs> we hope so, too. Now, does that not sound like the perfect summer? Maybe get Tommy Cayley on ESPN Radio with the Yankees and then switches right over to the track. I mean... You can't draw up any better than that and win some money, too. I mean, that's right here, the 518 is where you got to do it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. We'll, of course, be talking about the track next week. Thanks again for being here, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. And coming up, it was a beautiful day to hit the lengths and for one group in Clifton Park. A day on the course is benefiting a good cause. That story is coming up next on The Edge. Friday's endless apps. You keep coming in for them. So we keep coming up with them. New endless loaded bacon nachos and endless chicken quesadillas. Our next round of endless apps for your next round, 10 bucks. I enjoy the fresher things in life. Fresh towels, fresh soaps, and of course, TripAdvisor's freshest, lowest prices. So if you're anything like me, you'll want to check TripAdvisor. We now instantly compare prices from over 200 booking sites to find you the lowest price on the hotel you want. Go on, try something fresh. TripAdvisor, the latest reviews, the lowest prices. Capital Region Schools. You can create a more respectful, inclusive environment by becoming a no place for hate school. We know that prejudice is learned and can be unlearned, and that bias is universal. Education is the key. The No Place for Hate initiative has grown from three schools to 53 schools participating in the Capital Region. Is your local school enrolled? Encourage a safer learning environment. Call today. Sponsored by the Anti-Defamation League, Neil and Jane Golub, Price Chopper, and Market 32, and Fryhoffers. If you've been injured, it may feel like your life is spinning out of control. You're hurt. You're angry and you may feel overwhelmed. Let Ellis Law take away your legal worries so you can focus on your health 
and your family. We'll fight with the insurance companies to get the room you need to breathe. Get control of your life again. Call Ellis Law. When you paint with frog tape, something magical happens. Because frog tape is the only painting tape with patented paint block technology to give you the cleanest, sharpest lines possible. The patented paint block reacts with water in latex paint to form a micro barrier against paint bleed. Frog tape delicate even works on freshly painted surfaces, giving you maximum creative flexibility for professional results when you paint. There's only one name to know. Frog tape keeps paint out, keeps lines sharp. Friday's endless apps. You keep coming in for them, so we keep coming up with them. New endless loaded bacon nachos and endless chicken quesadillas. Our next round of endless apps for your next round, 10 bucks. Next time on Mike and Molly. Molly's away, but Mike won't play. You disgusting. Because when my wife's out of town, I don't want to give some stripper a buck to shake her behind in my face. The ones that'll do it for a buck, you don't want their behinds in your face. On the next Mike and Molly, tomorrow night at 7 on CW15. Fallon, that is no way to talk to your new boss. Bite me, Crystal. Call me Mom. Dynasty, coming this fall to the CW. On the next Last Man Standing, car racing legend Tony Stewart. This isn't a show car, this is the real deal. And Mike's feeling that need for speed. I know you can start it. I'm <laughs> driving this. I dare you. You drove the car, didn't you, Mike? Last Man Standing, tomorrow at 11 on CW15. It's New Zealand versus Japan. White versus Machina for the team title this week on Queen of Honor Wrestling. Sunday night at 9 on CW15. It was a beautiful day on the course this morning for the annual Lewis Gola Memorial Golf Tournament. Golfers went to the Van Patten and Eagle Crest Golf Clubs in Saratoga County to tee off before a VIP reception. Price Chopper hosts the annual tournament to benefit the Muscular Dystrophy Association and ALS Research. It's really special to be able to come out and spend some time with our trade partners and with our own teammates and, and really do something meaningful for a very worthwhile organization. This was the 36th year the tournament's taken place. Now more than 300 golfers took part to raise more than $200,000. What I would have given to be out there today. Great day and a great cause. Gotta love it. It looked beautiful. I did go to the Valley Cats game, though. That sucked. And it was, it was great. It was hot, though. I loaded up on sunscreen and drank plenty of water. It is summer. Did you? You do have to hydrate, so that's good. Yes. Did you have a chance to enjoy the day at all, Greg? Uh, well, I worked most of the day, that's which great. I enjoy. Yes, oh, there you go. Yes. You did enjoy yeah. it. Well, let's tell me, uh, why don't you tell us about that hard work that's coming up at 11? Here's what's coming up next. It's a tough story. The latest on John McCain tonight. The senator and war hero facing a tough diagnosis tonight, brain cancer. We'll have more on that. Also, one year later, the victim's friends are remembering a night they say they can never forget a fatal fire in our area. We'll have the update on that as well. Brittany, back to you. All right, thank you, Greg. When kayaking for Miso started seven years ago, only three paddlers took part in the fundraiser. Last summer, the field grew to over 200. Why one local dad decided to get involved in the fight against the rare cancer. That's tomorrow night on The Edge. We're racing for our sales record in the month of July. It's a Bone Crusher Jeep Dodge Ram Works the Summer Clearance Event. And you can save up to $5,000 on a 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. Now at Zapone, Crusher Jeep Dodge Ram, Clifton Park in Granville. I'm Sugar Rogers. I'm Bria Hartley. Hi, I'm Kia Vaughn from the New York Liberty. Today, there are still over 100,000 children in New York State without health coverage. Our goal is zero. We want to make sure every kid gets covered. Let's get every child covered. Folks, how would you like to get a brand new car for less than your cable bill? Good, right? Well, you can. We a brand new 2017 Forte for no money down and just $158 per month. Even sales tax is included in those payments. And at 37 miles per gallon, you'll save money on gas, too. Plus, we're including three years of oil changes. And that's just one example of the deal. Had over 400 new Kias in one location. Now that's kooky. So go cookie for Kia at Destination Kia. Puppies and babies not included. Keeping an eye on the weather in your neighborhood, the Fryhopper Skycam Network, giving you a live look at conditions across the Capital Region and beyond, so you're always prepared. The Fryhopper Skycam Network, only on CBS 6 News, the weather authority. The Fryhopper.
Harper's Baking Company has been delivering delicious baked breads for our friends and neighbors for over 100 years. All summer long in Price Chopper and Market 32 stores, Fryhofer's 8-pack hot dog, hamburger, and New England rolls are two for $5. Fryhofer's is the pride of the neighborhood. Catch your winning numbers right here. The Capital Region's official home for New York Lottery Drawings is CBS 6 and the CW15. We're racing for an all-time sales record right here at Zapone Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram during the summer clearance event where you can drive a new 2017 Jeep Compass for only $169 a month. Only at Zapone Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, Clifton Park, and Granville. Watch Hot Bench weekdays at 1. Right here on CW15. 25 years and counting. It's America's favorite jackpot game. Get ready, everybody. This is Powerball. Good evening, America. I'm Sam Arlen. Tonight we have an estimated jackpot for you worth $186.1 million. I hope you have your Powerball tickets. Good luck. Let's see how you did tonight. First number down is 63. And right after that, we've got 51. Here's Grant Maxwell from Iowa. Grant won $250,000 using Power Play. Next number down is 59. That's followed by 61. And we're going to wind it up for you tonight with the number 50. All right, now for your winning Powerball number, we have four tonight. And that Power Play multiplier is five. Take one more close look at tonight's winning numbers from all of us here at the Florida Powerball Studios. Have a great night. We'll see you back here this Saturday night. Listen to me. I have time to talk. It's critical. Absolutely critical. If you do whatever that process is. We know this much. Corbett gets on a plan to go to the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta. He's carrying a virus he created. And the cure for that virus is malaria. Ambrose doesn't have a virus. That's why Ambrose needs McCloy. Sweet one, my sleep. Kill Chimera. Ambrose has a cure without a disease. We're home free. You were right. Hunt stung McCloy tonight. So he knows. He'll be going to buy a site. Good. Then we know where he'll be, don't we? Well done, Hugh. Well done. Only 3,000 people each year are diagnosed with mesothelioma. Those numbers include one local woman who's been battling the rare cancer for half of her life. Tonight on The Edge, how that woman's dad jumped right in to raise money and celebrate survivors. Plus, well, she's used to being in silver, but one former Capital Region lacrosse star is hoping to take on the gold. And O.J. Simpson pleads his case to a parole board in Nevada. With a former NFL star or early release, Upstate Sports Edge starts right now. Upstate Sports Edge, sponsored by Toyota. Hello, everyone. I'm Brittany DeVay. Up first, what's latest on the edge? 
and it's the unofficial start to the 2017 Saratoga meet. We're taking a live look now at the 24th annual Ciro's Cup from Ciro's Restaurant in Saratoga Springs. The event started at 6.30 tonight, and as you can see, it's still going strong. What I wouldn't give to be there right now. Well, among the expected crowd tonight, former NFL players Drew Smith and Byron Hunt, as well as Joe Torrey's son Mike and living legend Mary Lou Whitney. But of course, the guest of honor is 2017 Hall of Fame inductee Javier Castellano. The two-time riding champion at the spa is also a four-time Eclipse Award winner for Best Jockey. The Ciro's Cup is being held to benefit the Centers for Disability Services. Tonight we honored um, jockey Javier Castellano when he was presented with a beautiful painting by renowned artist James Fiorentino. There's um, unbelievably delicious food from the Hunt and Fish Club of Manhattan. They were dancing to the music of the Electric City Horns. We have a large silent auction and everyone's just coming out and celebrating the opening of the Saratoga Race Course. I'm here because I'm being honest to be here and to be part of the organization to give you guys something for the people that really need it. Help. It's a great organization and it's truly honored to be here to give you guys something for those people that really need it and I try to help the people that really need it. Of course, congratulations to Javier. Of course, this is all leading up to Hello, tomorrow, the day down. horse racing fans have been waiting for. Opening day at Saratoga Racecourse. The season get runs here, 40 ball. days, wrapping up on ball. Labor Day. Gates will open Don't to eager fans, myself included, at 11 a.m. The day will also see the debut of the new Naira XP app, which will allow people to customize their experience at the track using their mobile devices. Up. Also new this year, a renovated playground area for kids. Admission is $5 for adults. Children 12 and under get in for free. The basketball tournament, or TBT, continued tonight in Brooklyn with just 16 teams left vying for that $2 million prize. Two New York teams went at it for a spot in the Northeast Regional Championship game, Team Fancy and Bayheim's Army, which boasts many former Syracuse basketball stars. Bayheim's Army back in the Super 16, looking to avenge last year's loss in the same round. With his team coming off a double overtime victory in round two, former Q standout Eric Devendorf was determined to get it done in regulation. The guard led all scores with 19 points. Fancy would fight back with a flourish off the bench. Former Iona guard Rashad James chipped in 14 points in just 16 minutes of play to keep things close. The Bayheim's Army would seal it late, courtesy of Brandon Trich as Syracuse all-time winningest starter scored the team's last seven points to close out the 65-61 triumph. Bayheim's Army three wins away from a $2 million payday. Here's a look now at the upcoming schedule. Bayheim's Army will face four team foe in the Northeast Regional Championship game this Sunday at noon on ESPN2. And former Bishop McGinn star Taylor Battle, an armored athlete, will play a Super 16 matchup against top-seeded team Colorado on Saturday at 6. To the baseball diamond, since Keith Griffin took over as head coach of the Mohawks in 2009, Amsterdam has won the league championship six times. The wins have come in fast at his seven summers in Shuttleworth. Earlier this season, he won his 300th PGCBL game. Now he's on the doorstep of another milestone. Entering the night, Griffin had won 998 career games, and with two to play against the Blue Sox, the skipper had a chance to hit 1K. However, Utica takes game one for three. The Mohawks do rally to win big in game two, so that means Griffin earns his 999th career win. He can hit 1,000 tomorrow when the East top team travels to Glens Falls. Also in the PGCBL, Albany on the road at Mohawk Valley tonight. The Dutchmen earn a doubleheader sweep to pull within two games of the second place Diamond Dogs. And finally, Glens Falls gets doubled up by Socrates. Tripled up by Socrates, I should say. 9-3 in Socrates tonight. And to Pro Bowl, Tri-Cities bats go silent again. The top six starters managed to go just one for 25 in a loss to the spinners. Houston's number 10 prospect, Miguel Angel Sierra, provided the only offense with a solo home run in the third inning.
Nets have battled back after dropping the first two games of the series, putting themselves in position. Take a look at the highlights now from the day baseball game. New York heading out west, but before they do, they got to wrap up the series with the Cardinals. New York facing the red-hot Lance Lynn. But in the second inning, Lucas Duda takes the righty deep for his 17th dinger of the season. Mets lead 1-0. Tied at 1 now in the 8th. Tommy Pham breaks the deadlock as he takes Mets reliever Eric Godell deep to left to put the cards up 2-1. But in the bottom half of the inning, Wilmer Flores gets it right back. All three home runs today were all solo shots. So we head to the bottom of the ninth, tied at two. Runners at the corners, two outs for Jose Reyes. He sees an opening, he takes it, grounding it to first. Trevor Rosenthal doesn't cover the bag in time. Reyes dives in safely. The Mets walk off 3-2 over St. Louis. I saw the first baseman play way back, you know, I, I say in my mind, if you hit something there, you know, hustle to first base, and when I see the pitcher, he has been going in the mouth for like two seconds, I say, man, it's going to be tough for him to beat me to first base. The Red Sox are also heading out west for a quick six-game road trip, a first series finale with Toronto at Fenway. Red Sox rallying in the bottom of the second, one run already in, two more in scoring position for Mookie Betts. This one drops in to give the Red Sox a 3-1 to one lead. Thank you, Mookster. Top of the third, Doug Fister gets anything but the shutdown inning he was looking for. After walking the bases loaded, the righty has a chance to get out of the jam, but Brock Holt loses it in the sun and bounces off his glove. Jays tied up. Toronto slugger Justin Smoke is the difference in this one. He hit a pair of solo home runs, bringing his season total up to 26. That's tied for third most in all of baseball. Red Sox go 500 in the homestand, losing this finale 8-6. to six. Elsewhere in the majors tonight, the nope, Yankees no, no. are yeah. concluding their 11-game road bad. trip with a stint in Seattle yeah, before they come home next week. This one just underway. I think first pitch was roughly 10-10. So, no highlights to show yet. It is still tied at nothing very early on uh, in the West Coast. Coming up, one father's mission to celebrate the survival of mesothelioma patients like his daughter, all while raising money and increasing awareness for the rare disease. That's next on The Edge. On the next Two Broke Girls, your presence is requested. Hey, everybody! To the event of the season. I thought I'd be way overdressed, but I'm just on your boots. It's Oleg and Sophie's wedding day. What do you think, girls? Do I look like a virgin? Next, Two Broke Girls. Tomorrow at 6 on CW15. Fallon, that is no way to talk to your new boss. Bite me, Crystal. Call me Mom. Dynasty, coming this fall to the CW. Moving is a good time to think about your TV, internet, and voice provider. That's where Spectrum comes in. Make the move to Spectrum today. Spectrum TV delivers more free HD and thousands of titles free on demand. Just $29.99 a month when you call 844-357-299. Wow! It's the fastest starting speeds available at 60 megabits per second. That's more than enough speed for your devices with no data caps and a free modem. Just $29.99 a month. And stay connected to friends from the old neighborhood with unlimited nationwide calling. Plus unlimited calling to Canada, Mexico, and more with Spectrum Voice. Call 844-357-2999. Move to Spectrum with no contracts and our 30-day money-back guarantee. It's easy to switch to crystal clear TV, lightning fast internet, and unlimited voice services for $29.99 a month each. Call 844-357-2999. This summer, people are experiencing all the excitement Chevy has to offer. Oh, Holy smokes. Go for thrilling drives and deals at the Chevy Summer Drive. I want to go to that Chevy dealership right now. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Malibu for around $199 a month. Or get $2,500 total cash allowance on this Chevy Malibu. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Later this summer, more than 200 paddlers will take to the Hudson River to kayak for Mizo. In seven years since the event started, the fundraiser has grown to nearly 100 times its original size. Through the efforts of founder Mark Wells, participants were able to raise more than $23,000 last year alone from Mesothelioma Applied Research Foundation. Wells started kayaking for Mizo in 2011 with his daughter Linda in mind. 
She was diagnosed with breast cancer in age, but last year for the first time, she joined her dad in the river to take part in the paddle. Recently, Mark stopped by the studio to invite anyone else who wants to participate to join in. The seventh annual Kayaking for Mizo takes off on September 9th from Admiral's Marina in Stillwater, New York. But before the kayakers hit the water, we have the event organizer and founder, Mark Wells, joining us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. When you started this back in 2011, it had already been about 10 years since your daughter was diagnosed. That's correct. What happened in 2011 that said, made you say, I have to start some, doing something this year? Well, I always wanted to raise awareness, but I really didn't know where to start or what to do. And I had, a couple months earlier, started kayaking myself. So I thought that might be a good venue to create because people do walks and runs and golf outings and stuff like that. And I said, well, kayaking is different. And that's what I wanted to do. Take me back to that first year, 2011. How many people did you have kayaking? Three people. 